Part three of thyroid health. We're talking right now about high thyroid. In the last one, we talked about the symptoms of high thyroid. In this one, I wanna just touch on some things you can do as someone who's experienced this. Not only as a nurse, I've seen a lot of this in the hospital, but I've experienced this firsthand because I had um, thyroid cancer that kept coming back over and over. And so they kept me on very high doses of thyroid. So I was wired, tired, headaches, all the things I talked about before, um, irritable bowels, um, mood swings, sensitivity to heat. By the way, also really at high risk for osteoporosis and heart issues on heart medications. We talked about all those things, but what I wanna talk about is what you do. High thyroid can be very, very serious if you have something called Graves' disease and it can get into thyroid toxicosis and other things. You want to get it checked. So I'm not gonna give you some simple little thing you can do if you've got elevated thyroid where you just take a supplement and not go to the doctor. So yes, lifestyle matters, 100% lifestyle matters. But I, I can't stress enough. If you're going through thyroid hell, please go get checked. So if you have any of the symptoms that I listed in the last video or that I just talked about just now, please go get checked because you don't need to be living through all of that. Also not being able to sleep. There's just a lot of miserable things that go along with an elevated um, thyroid. I actually felt like I was going crazy at one point. And so you wanna go get that checked because you can do something about it.